The government's policy of deterrence against asylum seeker boats is under strain, with three boats reaching Australian territory in the last week. Olivia Kaisley with this report. A third boat carrying asylum seekers has reached Australian territory in the past week, including four individuals who arrived off the coast of Broome on Friday morning. It follows five Rwandans who arrived on Subai Island, which is in the Strait of Cape York in Australia's northeast, and 33 people who landed on Christmas Island. Sky News has independently confirmed the third boat, carrying four Vietnamese unauthorised maritime arrivals, arrived near Broome. It's understood they were intercepted by the Australian border force just off the coast. Government sources eager to make the point those individuals did not make it to the mainland, nor do they have any prospect of being settled here. It follows two people smuggling ventures reaching Western Australia at the beginning of this year and at the end of last. The individuals were located by Indigenous rangers. Those individuals were found scrambling in the mangroves by Indigenous rangers after being dropped off by Indonesian fishing boats. It comes as the government is under increased pressure over its handling of the nation's borders. Liberal MP Aaron Violi says it feels like a repeat of the Rudd-Gillard years. We're seeing you know, people smugglers testing the government. They see the weakness in Anthony Albanese, the Prime Minister, in Claire O'Neill and Andrew Giles. It's feeling very much like a rerun of 2008, 2009, 2010 under the Rudd-Gillard government. This government have given us no confidence that they can protect the Australian borders. The government hoping the boat interception won't be a distraction from the federal budget. No one left behind is why we are making sure that we take these cost of living measures in order to provide assistance for people who need it. Amid pressure on the government over its handling of the nation's borders, it'll be interesting to see whether there's any fresh funding for the Australian Border Force in Tuesday's budget.